Welcome everybody and a very Merry Christmas to you. Ahead of Wolves vs Chelsea, a score of 51 points in game week 18 has seen a rise up to 236k. There was lots of frustration in defence, particularly from Pedro Porro and Matty Cash, who lost their clean sheets late on against Everton and Sheffield United respectively. Starting Simicast ahead of Gabriel backfired after the Brazilian scored his first goal of the season. The decision to bring in Richarlison paid off as he scored with his only attempt against the Toffees, but swaying away from Son and Salah for captaincy proved costly. The Egyptian almost claimed an assist when he set up Alexander Arnold in a bizarre 5 on 2 counter attack, but the crossbar came to Arsenal's rescue. The most bought player of the week, Ollie Watkins was denied an assist by VAR after Jacob Ramsey was deemed to have impeded the goalkeeper. But Dominic Solanke bagged a second half hat trick to sink Nottingham Forest after a controversial red card. He's taken a leading six shots in Game Week 18 so far. The festive football continues on Boxing Day, so let's look ahead to some transfer plans. Erling Haaland wasn't used at the Club World Cup and it remains to be seen whether he'll be fit enough to feature against Everton on Wednesday. In any case, my plan is to wait until at least Game Week 20 to bring him back. My easiest route to him is a simple upgrade from Dominic Solanke with 7.7 .7 million in the bank, but the cherished talisman is full of confidence at the moment and I'd ideally like to hold him longer. So what I'm now looking to do is downgrade Son to Bowen in game week 20, a week earlier than planned, and that will allow me to upgrade Archer to Haaland. I'll then be able to hold Salah on the bench for the duration of his spell at AFCON, which I'm hoping will give me an advantage when he returns and other managers are scrambling to move funds around. As for my more immediate transfer plans, I have defensive issues to resolve this game week with Cash suspended and Simicast facing a spell on the sidelines. The latter will be making way, and I'll have to resist the temptation to upgrade him to Trent Alexander-Arnold, who's amassed five goal involvements in the last six game weeks. As impressive as his form is, I'd prefer to use those funds to buy Haaland while keeping Solanke and Salah. Back from injury, Sven Botman stands out as the best long-term buy among 4.5 million defenders. I'd have to bench him against Liverpool and Man City, but then the fixtures start to improve. Newcastle ranked bottom for XG conceded in the last four game weeks, but they've kept clean sheets in six of their last seven home matches. So Simicast to Botman is the plan, and here's how the team is set to line up. As mentioned, Newcastle's home form is reassuring for Martin Dubravka, ahead of a meeting with Nottingham Forest. They've scored just seven goals on the road this season, with only Sheffield United faring worse. Joining Pedro Porro and potential new recruit Sven Botman in defence is Gabriel. Arsenal remained first for XG conceded in the last four game weeks, where they've restricted opponents to a league low three big chances. No midfielder has earned as many points as Richarlison in the last four game weeks, where he's claimed four goals and five big chances, both leading figures. Son Heung-min has scored two and made two in the same period. Brighton remain the only side without a clean sheet this season. They've conceded 10 goals in the last six game weeks, with only Fulham, Chef United and Nottingham Forest allowing more. Bakayo Saka has amassed four goals and four assists in eight home matches this season, to average 7.1 points. Only Bowen, Son and Salah can better his 11 shots on target at home among midfielders. West Ham have shipped 20 goals in away matches, with only Sheffield United faring worse. Ollie Watkins has scored in three successive away matches. His tally of 12 shots in the last four game weeks only trails Solanke among forwards. Man United have conceded 14 goals at home this season, with only Sheffield United and Burnley proving more porous. With seven goals in his last six outings, Dominic Solanke enters the conversation for captaincy. He's attempted a league-high 25 shots in that time, while only Haaland can improve on his nine big chances. Fulham are without a win in eight away matches, shipping 20 goals. They've conceded 2.4 expected goals per game on the road this season, with only Luton faring worse. There's also a favourable matchup for Mo Salah, who's accrued six assists and three goals in nine away matches this season. But that run did include blanks against Luton and Sheffield United. Fellow promoted side Burnley look to have tightened up of late, keeping two clean sheets in the last five game weeks, and only Everton have conceded fewer goals in that time. Nevertheless, I'm backing the Egyptian king to find a way as he so often does.